Lemonade, crunchy ice. Beat it once, beat it twice. Lemonade, crunchy ice, beat it once, Beyonce! Welcome back, B. Good to see you. You looking good? Good thing you don't look like what you've been through, because according to the film, you've been through a lot, okay? Where do we even begin? How about we start at that intuition feeling? Us as women, we have that feeling, something is telling us that something is wrong, because it is, okay? I pray I catch you whispering to that hoe that you met at the mall. I thought I didn't see you. She said, I pray you catch me listening, because all I need is a reason. I'm four or five seconds off your ass right now. I'm waiting for a reason to snap. You know, we at home, we watching it, we like, yes, B. We pray he catch you listening too, B. So then she goes to the building, hops off the... The intuition was messing with her. You know what I'm saying? Jay-Z, what did you do? You making this girl jump off of buildings now? Yes, B, you better give me death poetry jam. You better give me Jill Scott poetry. You better give me B. Angelou. Hold up. They don't love you like I love you. Slow down. They don't love you like I love you. Hey. I love this visual. It's bright. She was in this yellowish gold dress. She looks beautiful. Titties was popping. I was like, okay. Okay, B. I mean, all right. The crazy thing about this video is that, um, She's really crazy now. She took the back from the little boy. The boy was like, but I was just trying to show you. She was just ran or skipped off <laughs> with the bat. Like, <laughs> but I got to use it right now, little boy. So mind your business. She had the bat, was just terrorizing the whole city, but with a smile. Now, you know, that's crazy. That's when you know something not right up here. And then the bat, the, the bat, y'all. The bat had the words hot sauce on it. When she said I got hot sauce in my bag, she wasn't talking about this. Only our dumb, oh yeah, she got hot sauce in my bag because she like chicken. She wasn't talking about the actual condiment. Her bat. She got the bat in the, what you carrying in your bag, Hillary Clinton? Hot sauce. Hillary, Beyonce that made a fool out of you now. Now go sit down, go sit down, no. She's giving us the stages of when you think that your man or your woman is cheating on you. First it's intuition, then it's denial. And you realize, okay, he actually, he actually is. Oh, okay. <laughs> so this, this, this the game, this the game that you want to play. Okay. And now you're angry. This poem tripped me out because of the imagery in the words. She's talking about taking this other woman's skin, putting it on her body. No wonder. Beyonce doesn't do interviews anymore. It's not because she can't speak, but it's because she doesn't want to snap. Think about it. Beyonce, you look so great tonight. What are you wearing? Thank you so much for asking, Gail. I'm actually wearing the skin of my husband's mistress. The scalp is my headpiece. The teeth that I knocked out her mouth just last night are the earrings that you see, and they also are situated on the neck piece that I'm wearing this evening. Oh, and such lovely teeth they are. Then this goes into my song. Then Baynisha showed up. She had her fur coat on. Baynisha had her Say My Name cornrows in her hair with the little baby hair slicked down. I said, who took that brown gel and a toothbrush and slicked her edges down like that? Who did that? Cause, <laughs> but I, when I saw her come out from behind that car with that gangster walk, she said, don't hurt yourself. Don't hurt yourself. Ah. Who the do you think I am? I love how she's experimenting with these new sounds. I said, yes, B, you want to be in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. You're not just R&B. You're not just pop. You better let them know that you're alternative rock, too. You know I give you life. You try that again, boy, you gonna lose your wife. Toss his ring. Bye. I'm done. Jay, it looks like you found your 100th problem, okay? Because Beyonce is not playing with you. After the intuition, after the denial, after the anger, there's apathy. Apathy means you're just indifferent. That's the danger zone right there. That apathy feeling, it's like you're numb to it. She's giving you real emotion. Really love how she's taking us through the journey and through all the emotion and through, and it's just, B, you, you really doing it. This, you doing it. This, B. So she's giving us a quality message here. And some of you still not, you're not getting it because you're waiting to dance. It's not all about twerking all the time. Maybe she's tired of that. Maybe she wants to give you something to think about. Mm. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Because women, we always apologizing for something. What you sorry for? Ladies, no more sorries, okay? Serena Williams, where did you come from? What tennis court did Beyonce swipe you off of? Serena came through with this old nasty Compton tennis twerk. I was like, is this a message to Drake? What is this about? Suck on my balls, pause. 
Suck on your what, B? You can tell she's been waiting to release this for a long time. Now you gotta use your inner ear and listen to how she pronounces the consonants. Suck on my balls, pause. Like, you know what I mean? Like you, <laughs> Jay-Z, what did you do? She said, now you wanna call me crying. Now you wanna say you sorry. Beyonce said, me and my baby gonna be cool. We gonna have a good life. But you wasn't crying when you was whispering to Becky. You know Becky. Man, I don't even know no Becky. He Becky with the good hair. Rachel Roy or Rita Ora. Those were the two names that were circulating on today's timeline, okay? Because Rachel Roy thought she was real cute with her little selfie. And the caption gonna say, oh, good hair, don't care. Girl, the Beehive destroyed her Instagram on today. And the Beehive, listen, y'all so dumb. Y'all over here on Rachel Ray's page. Rachel Ray is minding her business in her kitchen, cooking her 30 minute meal. And y'all over there vandalizing her Instagram page. It's Rachel Roy, Beehive. Y'all had one job. And I kind of thought for a second that she was about to announce her divorce. It's crazy. I know, it would have been a little tacky for Beyonce, but what a creative way to do it. You know what I'm saying? And then I thought to myself, wait, has anybody seen Jay-Z in the last month or a couple weeks? Because I kind of feel like she killed him. I kind of feel like she offed him. And now she's making a movie about it. Like on some OJ Simpson stuff. Like if like I didn't do it, but if I did, this is how it would have gone. Like we didn't really know. You know, we, we were speculating, is this about her? Is this about her mother? Is, you know what I'm saying? We, everybody was confused, okay? So after the intuition, the denial, the anger, the apathy, we are at emptiness. She was describing um, a sexual encounter and how when the man is inside her, she said, oh my God, and that is a form of worship. You're never supposed to put anyone higher than God. I thought that was a really, really good message because Sometimes, as women, we do find ourselves so engulfed in a man, especially when you're having sex with him. Sex is a very spiritual interaction. I don't know, you know, most people, they don't realize but that you're really, <laughs> you're really like doing the transfer of spirits. It's gonna fly over people's heads. People just, you know, they, the kids, they just be out here doing it just to be doing it. And now we're at Six Inch Heels. Beyonce done done a song with Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And I loved it. I loved it. Let me tell you what I think about this song. A walk in the club like nobody's business. Well, she said, God damn, she murdered everybody and I was her witness. I think she's talking about how she came into the music industry, shut everybody down, killed them, and she watched herself do it. This is another low key like bow down moment. She's saying I'm, I don't have to sleep with nobody because I'm professional. Because there are some people out there, I don't name no names. Sleep, do a little you know, sexual favor or whatever. Anyway, what she's saying is, I came in this club with my six inch heels, I killed everybody, um, I work for the money, I grind for it, nothing is handed to me, I get mine, this is what it is. Now we're at accountability and I said, I know she's not about to bring up every woman's daddy's issues. I know she's not about to do that. And she's doing it, she's doing it. Okay, we're going there, all right. Beyonce about to have a lot of people in their feelings right now. This is a real psychological messaging moment for a lot of women right now. What did daddy do? Cause, cause it's showing up in your current situation right now. Daddy lesson. Okay. Taylor Swift, bye. She'll take her CMA on the next award show. Thank you very much for daddy lessons, thank you. Beyonce, you better let them know that you're not just pop. You're not just R&B, you're not just hip hop, you're not even just rock and roll. You better let them know that you do country. The sounds of the bayou. Did you guys listen? So if you learned anything in your fourth grade class, you learned about telling a complete story, all right? The story has how many parts? Writers, three, okay? A beginning, a middle, and an end. Now we're at the middle, okay? When you're telling a story, we have our normalcy, some type of event, something happens, and we're going up. It was that anger, that denial, that apathy, and then we restart our climax. This is the problem right here. It's the daddy. This is the turning point right here. That's a real tough thing because for a daughter, when your father messes up, the family just messes up. Just me what are you doing? You me what are you doing? Father cheats on your mother. If you're a daddy's girl, you feel like he cheated on you too. I'm almost certain that's what a little bit of what Beyonce was feeling. And then to have it turn around and be happening in her own marriage, it's just like, it's too much. It's happening over here, it's happening over here. Like, I, I, I gotta resolve. That's it right there, that's that turning point, that's that climax. This is such a great story. Beyonce, you are, I love this so much. Let's continue. So now we're at reformation, love drop. I think this song has the best imagery. When the girls are walking across the water, I said, yes, Beezus, you better lead the 12 disciples across the water. Yes. 
sound is so peaceful, real breathy, real airy, real light feeling. It's amazing how sound can kind of depict the type of emotion inside of people. I love it. This is great. This is great stuff, B. You did your work. Oh, you did your work. But the turning point, B. I mean, I'm all here for reconciliation. But what happened to the bats? Like, we was, we ready to swing on people. We ready to cut people up. And you over here talking about some reformation. I don't want nobody's marriage to fail. I get it, but it's like, come on. This is what your friends always do, right? But I love him. I mean, he the father of my child. You know, if we just work together and stop fighting, we can move mountains. Because 10 times out of nine, I know he lying to me. But nine times out of 10, I know he tried. I gotta give him another chance. I gotta do it. Girl, you had me all riled up for nothing. I'm about to go bust out windows and stuff. You talking about love and reform. After reformation, we're at forgiveness and sand castles. B had to give us a ballad. And it hurts my heart every time I listen to it because when her voice cracks, I have a hard time listening to sand castles for that very moment in that song because I'm, I, my heart breaks every time I listen to that. Did you see Beyonce playing the piano? Who told her to learn how to play that piano, y'all? Prince. Prince said, if you learn to play the piano, you win. Learn to play the piano, and you got it. Let me get to Freedom. Such a powerful song. When she's just singing a cappella. We had all the mothers, mother of Oscar Grant, mother of Freddie Gray, mother of Trayvon Martin, the mother of Michael Brown, all the beautiful women, Kovanjane, Zendaya, Amanda. I love the message. She says she's gonna keep running because winners do not quit on themselves. And then you got Kendrick Lamar on the track. Kendrick, you know Kendrick, that's, pro, that's right up his alley. That was a perfect feature for that. Love freedom. She's talking about passing down the message and the lesson that when life throws you lemons, you make lemonade. Are you preaching through your music? I think so. And at the end, we have All Night. It's so cute. It makes you want to have a bae. She's showing love to all types of relationships, interracial, lesbian, gay. Kiss up and rub up and fill up. And they show Blue Ivy and Jay-Z and them as a family. And once again, B reminds us that she has a husband and a family. And we over here stuck like, we still over here holding bats, ready to swing, ready to take flight on anybody. But I, I thoroughly enjoyed this piece. Beyonce has never created something that has made me think. For me, now I see her becoming an artist. Lemonade is a full on love letter to black women and I'm so proud to be one. I'm so happy that she chose to be so vulnerable and so experimental in her sound. Beyonce, well done. Now it's your turn. Tell me all your thoughts. What you think about Lemonade? Did you like it? Do you hate it? Feeling different? You feeling a little apathetic? Let me know in the comments below. I'll see you in the next video. Peace. What's up, baby? Thank you so much for watching the video. If you liked it, click that thumbs up button. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. But if you're watching this on Facebook, click that thumbs up button and like the page. See you next time. I made it. Shades on. I ain't Hollywood. I'm faded. I drop it on